Let's get into the nothing event, though, because that was, I'll be honest, when I wrote the outline for this week's podcast, I was like, oh, there's the nothing event on Wednesday. We'll just record right after. We're going to have a ton of information. Mm -hmm. I've never been so mistaken before. This event was the definition of could have been an email. Oh, yeah. It was it was great. It was so first of all, it was 15 minutes late. I blocked off an hour on the calendar for it. I was like, all right, it's gonna be 10 a.m. to probably 11 a.m. Mm-hmm. They're finally gonna announce their next thing, right? Uh, 15 minutes in, nothing yet. Uh-huh. Okay, there's yeah. gonna be a lot of nothing. Yeah, funds well, let's get it out of the way. Yeah, not a lot happened there during this event. Big nothing burger, but it finally does start, and the whole thing's like 12 minutes long, and they're basically just announced that they're going to make a phone, asked for investment money, and then dipped. But the event itself, was, right. it was very bizarre <laughs> because there were a lot of things that happened that to me felt like it felt like the most 2022 like crypto, like not really promising anything that concrete type of event. There were a couple small things that were interesting. They're going to have a launcher. So if you like what you've seen, we'll be releasing the Nothing OS launcher in April. And a Nothing OS that will launch on the phone. So mm-hmm. if you have a different phone, you can potentially download the Nothing OS launcher on your phone before the phone comes out. out, Maybe that'll tempt you into buying their phone. But we didn't see the phone. We don't know what it will look like. We just know that they're going to make a phone. It's going to come out in summer, and it's called the Nothing Phone One. Which I thought was also funny because (laughs) the essential phone was basically what the essential PH1, which is just essential phone. Now we just have the Nothing Phone one so i guess at least they're getting ready to make multiples of them which i think Essential there's never did but. there's something about startups and having to call their first phone the one i mean the one oh, yeah, plus guess, was yeah, the one plus PH1. one yeah ph1 the earphones that nothing made are the ear one so yeah. you know welcome to another smartphone company okay so here's all the i want to just go over all the weird things about it first they mentioned apple i want to do like a word count maybe and find out how many times they said apple versus how many times they said their own name the ipod the iphone apple the first iPod to Apple. Apple. The MacBook, the iPhone, the iPad, AirPods. AirPods to Apple. Remember that first iPhone launch? To Apple. Yeah. Because they felt the need to constantly compare themselves to Apple, but then also constantly talk about how Apple is the only choice and that's bad because they don't plug in nicely with other things. So you don't want to be like Apple. Yet as soon as you leave that ecosystem for a Windows PC or an Android phone, it breaks down. There is no alternative to Apple. This means that consumers don't have a choice and innovation slows down. And that's not right. But yeah. also our first year of sales were just like Apple. See, here's Apple. So they're they're kind of a little bit conflicted on how they want to, they just bring up Apple any chance. Do you know what? I'll count it and we'll tweet it because it's pretty easy because the event it's was only 13 minutes long. So true. I'm pretty sure I can count. I, how many times they said Apple versus how many times they said nothing? Yeah, I, I want to see that. I, I bet, bet it's, it's close. slightly more in favor of nothing, but it's pretty close. I can tell you it's more times than Apple mentions any other brand in any of their. That's a hundred percent true because <laughs> yeah. Apple pretends no other company exists. It's, yeah. Um, okay, so we got the name. Basically, the only concrete information we got was they're going to use a Qualcomm chip. Also funny because they 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 brought that in with um like we are nothing. We feel like we are here to cause change to the smartphone industry, and we're using a Qualcomm Snapdragon chip, which which everyone else, which everyone else is uses. Using. Um, yeah. which is like that's more just funny timing on it. Um, but yeah. yeah, Qualcomm chip. It's obviously Android. I think we all knew that. I think the the nothing OS is clearly it's it's still Android. It's just a skin on it. Yep. Um, but they talked a lot about how it's going. It almost feels like they're creating. And then this is kind of similar to what OnePlus did originally with all the Cyanogen mod stuff on their original phones, which is like, feels like they're doing what the enthusiast would want to do on Android phones, which is like yeah. way quicker animations and just like things, widgets looking better. I did like how it goes from the lock screen clock and then into the regular clock is like perfectly um, matched with each other. Doesn't so it move. looks seamless. That was a nice touch. Yeah. Yeah. I hate that on. I almost just said what phone I have. Every phone does Um, that. They move the clock around all the time. very annoying. Yeah. I kind of got the vibe that like Carl and the team at OnePlus had a thing going where like they'd started with this enthusiast grade thing, the fast and smooth, the nicely considered small touches and animations. Mm -hmm. And then they realized that they were building it all for Oppo 
and like underneath the company, and they were like, we want to do it ourselves. So they all left OnePlus. OnePlus Soul has left its body, and it's basically just another shell of a company underneath mm-hmm. that Oppo Megacorp. But now a lot of those same people are working for this new company called Nothing, and they have the same idea, same big talk, same we're going to change the world stuff, but they're starting with the enthusiast level uh, appeal. Yeah, and they went a little, so it OnePlus was flagship killer. This feels almost more pinpointed at Apple killer. Like yeah, that's, that's kind tough. of what the nothing year ones were like, right? They were supposed to be the AirPods Pro right. at less than half the price. Yeah, which is funny because they started off by like name dropping like seven of Apple's products in a row yeah. and saying like they made all this great ecosystem, but as soon as you want to leave the ecosystem, things get worse and there are no like alternative ecosystems. So Apple, big bad Apple is the only option. So now we're going to make our own ecosystem just yeah. like Apple. <laughs> okay, great. So that's happening. Um, but they didn't show the phone. That, the only thing they showed was like this weird cryptic symbol. Yeah. Which I was trying to Let understand. Me, I want to pull, do you have a picture of that symbol? I can probably pull that up. It's on nothing.tech, right? It's basically just this like, yeah, it looks like a, the letter C with a small letter C above it and then some dots and dashes. It kind of looks like a SIM card very yeah tray so remover. It's like if um, a SIM card tray remover was like a tech crop circle. Like, yeah, it looks like a a G with an upside down lowercase I underneath it, a C as if like you're imagining. Actually, if you're imagining the Android um, alien, it looks like the top of that where the left antenna is a C and the right antenna is just a detached antenna. Yeah, I don't Um, know what it means. They didn't tell us what it meant. I mean, I'm guessing this is some sort of a symbol for like all the products that will be in their eventual ecosystem, maybe. Maybe they're going to fill it out and add dots and dashes. Yeah, I mean, he literally said, you might not get it just yet. Yeah, of course we don't know what it means. He literally said, you probably don't get this yet. (laughs) And I looked at him like, yeah, I I don't. What is it? We also learned nothing about that. I I mean, I'll be interested to see what these all mean and how many of them are more just like, it's just marketing hype. That just, because remember, remember OnePlus when they tried to sell us that they purposely put the S on the back of the phone in the reflection? Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. This feels like one of like those Like the things. 60, yeah. I So I have two main questions. Mm-hmm. One is I wonder if they can really pull off a transparent looking phone because I really like the way the Nothing Ear 1 earbuds turned out. They yeah. look pretty good. I love them. They're my favorite earbuds right now. I think now. they're my favorite looking for sure. Mm-hmm. Maybe not my favorite overall pair, but I really like what they did aesthetically with them. I like them for some weird reasons, mostly just because they fit really well in my ears. That's a perfectly but, legit reason. And I think they look fantastic. Like yeah. To me, it's um, I like them because of why a lot of people like Beats. I don't love how Beats look or the Beats logo, but I totally respect the fact that like as long as you're happy with the sound quality and how they work, looking good is nice. It works. I love how the ear ones look. Yeah. So my question is, can they replicate that with a phone? Can they pull that off? We've yeah. seen a couple uh, transparent-ish phones, like maybe a sliver of the phone is transparent a, or like translucent. U12, one of my yeah, favorites. Some like stickers have made an appearance. I think mm-hmm. Realme, you know. I think we'll Xiaomi see. did the fake sticker. Right. Yeah. I don't want to, you know, speculate too much. I'm sure that's exactly what nothing wants is just for us to go. I wonder how good it'll be. Yeah. But the other thing is like they are the most 2022 company ever just asking for money. Please invest in us. Please invest in us. This kind of reminds me actually of what we were talking about the other week with all the EVs. Unfortunately. Where we parade around this idea. And if you like the idea enough, invest in the company because the future is bright for this idea. And so the idea that they paraded around for 12 minutes in a live stream today was we're going to change the world with a smartphone and an ecosystem and look how similar we are to Apple yeah. who by the way is nothing like us they're bad but we're going to change the world like Apple uh, and so that's that's how they get people to, to, to invest and they've asked for uh, 10 million dollars from the public this time yeah and so I just saw something that was really funny as you were saying that um, about the investment so you know how they already collected investments off the beginning, right? And then yep. this is their second round. I think they said they're open to uh, up to ten million dollars. So when you go to nothing tech, it says community investment, and then in parentheses two, as in like the second community investment, but following the one pattern of like parentheses inside it. So they're literally naming their investments like they are their products. Yeah, I don't. Fun. I don't. I guess you could just keep giving them money and getting nothing in return. 
Yeah, yes. I think that's the perfect way to end this segment. Yeah. Pun. Start on a pun, end on a pun. End with a pun. Yeah. This event could have been an email. Hey, thanks for watching that clip. Make sure you hit subscribe to be an early investor in our upcoming video platform. Oh. That's right. You don't want to be uh, stuck with the big bad YouTube. They've made their ecosystem, which is just YouTube.com, YouTube music, YouTube stuff. Yeah, we're nothing like YouTube. Ours is going to be way better. We're going to change the world. And just for comparison, we have the same exact technology that YouTube uses. So it's going to be, you know, playing back. It's going to be smooth. It's, it's just transparent. It's just transparent. That's it. Exactly. It's the so only difference. What you're going to want to do is hit that red button to invest. Um, stocks straight to the moon. I mean, that's the only thing we could see possibly happening here. You yeah. can't afford not to get in at this ground level opportunity. This is a Series A uh, uh, investment. Yeah, happening. and and we'll announce our announcement soon. Yeah. Coming summer 2020 something. Um, and you should be pretty hyped about it. For sure. See you guys there.